Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be going over number 24 of the AMC 8 2019. This problem simply gives you a triangle. And there's a line that goes to one side of the triangle that splits it into the ratio 1 to 2. There's also a line that goes through this same line that we just created and it bisects the line. The problem asks just to find the area of the triangle that is shaded, given that the area of the triangle is 360. Now the first thing that we realize is the problem itself is really generic, and this means that we can manipulate it in many ways. So in this video I'm going to be showing you two solutions that are both kind of easy to discover, and each of them has their own unique pro sides. The first method that we're going to use is manipulating the triangle, meaning that since we don't have much information about what this triangle is, we can kind of just create a triangle that allows us to solve the problem in the fastest possible way. Now here we have a picture of the triangle rotated, and of course this isn't to scale, and what we're going to do is draw the line that we first drew, even though this doesn't look like it, it's splitting the side in two to one, a 1 to 2 ratio, as you can see right here. And so we're going to label this side as B and this side as 2B. We're also going to label the length of this side as 2A. So I'm just going to put 2A to this side. And when we draw a line that splits the, splits this line, bisects this line, then we have something that looks somewhat like this. And it splits this first line that we drew into A and A, sides lengths of A and A, respectively. Now, this means that we're trying to find the area of this right here. And looking at it, it doesn't look like we can really do anything. However, there are some ways that we can do some more editing in a way so that we can solve this problem in a really smooth and fast way. So right here I have each of the points labeled out and this just makes pointing out things much easier. So the first thing that we realize when we drew this diagram is that CD is actually an altitude in this case. However, we can actually just assume that CD is an altitude since we're not given much information and this is actually possible. Now given that CD is an altitude, we can actually figure out that triangles AOD and triangle BCD are similar by side side angle side angle side similarity. So this is true because angles ODA and ODB are are equal, congruent, and CDB is twice has two sides that are each twice as long as AOD's two sides A and B. As you can see, CD is 2A and DB is 2B, instead of the OD being A and AD being B. So when we realize that triangles AOD and BCD are similar, we can start to make some more connections. Now let's use the fact that the two triangles are similar to help us get some more intuition on the area of triangle CGO. So let's call angle CBD theta. And by similarity, angle OAD is also theta. This means that angle AOD is 90 minus theta because of the properties of the sum of the angles of a triangle. And since AOD and COG are equal, are vertical angles, sorry, this means that COG is also 90 minus theta. And since DCB is a right triangle, this means that angle DCB is 90 minus theta. So this means that triangle GCO is actually is actually isosceles. Since we know that triangle CGO is isosceles, we can simply drop an altitude from G and 
we can assume that the two triangles that it, it, cr it creates are congruent and have the same area. Now, looking at these two triangles, we realize that they are actually similar simply because these two are equal and they're also right triangles. We see that this triangle has sides twice the length of this triangle because this has length one half A, which means this has length one half B. By looking at that, that means that this triangle has one fourth the area of this triangle, meaning that this whole triangle has one fourth the area of one half, sorry, the one half the area of this triangle. So by using this information, all we need to do is compute a b. As long as we find a b, we can find what this triangle's area is because we know that this triangle's area is one half of this triangle's area, and this triangle's area is simply one half a b. So this means that we're actually trying to find one fourth a b, but as long as we find a b, we can simply si divide by four to find one fourth of a b, which will be our answer. So in order to find one fourth of a b, we can simply use the fact that we knew that the area of this triangle itself is 360. So we just simply use base times height. 3b times 2a over 2 is equivalent to 360, meaning that 3b times a is equivalent to 360, which means that ab is 120. So dividing by 4, we find that a, B, for 1 fourth of a, B is equivalent to 30, which is our answer. Now the second method is a little bit more generic, meaning that we can use a general triangle, any triangle, and we'll still be able to get the same answer. So this means that we can just use the diagram that we had on the problem, which looks sort of like the triangle I drew here. So the first thing that we obviously are given is that the sides are in the ratio 1 to 2. And since these two triangles have the same height, this means that we can just use the formula 1 half base times height to figure out that this triangle has half the area of this triangle because the bases are in the ratio 1 to 2. So this means that if this triangle's area is x and this triangle's area is 2x, then x plus 2x is equivalent to 360, since 360 is the area of the whole triangle, meaning that x has area 120. We are also given that these two lengths are equal, meaning that we can use the same principle to figure out that these two triangles have the same area, meaning that this triangle has area 60 and this triangle has area 60. The end of the problem is just dropping a ton of altitudes. As you can see, I drew three right here. Now we can see that this triangle is actually similar to this whole triangle. And they are in the ratio one to two. This is because we know that these two are equal. So once we figured out that these two triangles are similar, this means that this height right here is actually one half of this height. We can do the same thing right here, since we know that these two are in the ratio 1 to 2. And what we figure out is that these are in the ratio 2 to 3. So we find that this is in the ratio, these, the small one is the ratio 1 to 3. So once we know that, we can figure out that the area of this triangle, which we're trying to find, is actually one third of the area of the whole triangle because they have the same base and their heights are in the ratio one to three as seen below. So this means that if we assume the area of this triangle is x, we can quickly find the area of this, we can quickly calculate what x is. So we see that x plus 60 is equivalent to 3x. So this means that 2x is equal to 60, and therefore x is 30, which is the answer we're looking for. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope these solutions were actually useful, 
and you learn from these solutions. I find that this problem was a pretty hard problem, and it's harder than the twenty problem number 25. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out my other AMC A2019 videos. Thanks for watching.